Hey Anonymi, welcome to another episode of Numismatics Anonymous. Junior and I are here, and we did another $5 coin show challenge. Except, in this challenge, we weren't trying to spend our own $5. We both spent $5 on each other. So I spent $5 on things that I knew Junior would love, and Junior spent $5 on things that he thought I would love. And then, in the middle, was a bonus gift from the dealer that we bought all this stuff from. And only my wife knows what's in this. So right now, this is a surprise for both Junior and I. So let's get started. Junior, why don't you open your gift first? So go ahead and set it down flat so that way it doesn't all roll around everywhere. Here's the front. So what do you see? Um, uh, yeah. Penny Indian head scent. An Indian scent? Um, I do not know what this So let's go through one by one. Let's look at the Indian head scent. I chose for you an 1888 Indian head scent. One scent. That's pretty cool. I do not know what Do you want to know what it is? <coughs> do you want to know what it is? What do you notice about it? Oh, it has a hole. It has a hole in it. This is our first coin with a hole in it. I'll say that. This is a Japanese coin. It's from 1922. So this is almost 100 years old. And it has a hole in it. So what do you think about that? But it is mine. Yes, that's your. yours. That's your holy coin. It's mine, not yours. No, what, good. What else is in there? Four buffalo nickels. I know you love buffaloes. Okay. The first year is 1937. Now, the one that you picked up here is, act is the one that I was most excited about. Um, the year is really common, Junior. They made a lot of these. But you know what's cool about this one? The condition is incredibly good. This is uh, one of the least worn buffalo nickels I've ever seen in a discount bucket. The detail is so crisp. <coughs> so, I just wanted to share that with the camera really close because the condition is what made that a, a fun purchase. <clears throat> what else do you have? What are the other years? The next year is 1936. 36? <clears throat> there you go, 1936. And this one does have a mint mark. None of the ones that we've been finding have mint marks. So you can see that one is an S. So that's an S mint mark. That's a good one. This next one is 19... 26, I think. Let me take a look. Yeah, 1928. And another S mint mark, which is the reason I got it for you. The S mint marks are kind of special. This is the same year, it's 19... Oh, it's not, it's just a little higher. 1938. 1938, that was the last year that they made the buffalo nickel before they started putting Jefferson on the front. And this one was in great shape too. It's a Denver mint mark. Look at the condition on it. It's got a lot of detail left in it. Yeah. So should I open mine? Yeah. Okay, here we go. There's a lot of, um, there's something that is cool for you. Okay. You want me to tell you something? Mm, don't give it away. Don't, don't give it away. Okay, I... I was told one of the cooler ones is on the bottom here, so I'll do it last. Yeah. It's really cool. Wow. Yep, I found that. Queen Elizabeth II. I found On that. a Hong Kong coin. That's a $2 coin for Hong Kong. Made in 1975. Wow, that is something. Yeah, I picked that up. Uh, Copper and nickel. Well, that's super. Thanks, Junior. What else do we have here? 
This is a Polynesian, two francs, 1965. It's a really large coin. It's almost it's about a half dollar size. It's aluminum. I can feel it by the weight, and then the coin dealer also wrote it on there. Cool, French Republic. That is very cool. Thanks, Junior. 1965. It's in good shape, this too. This next one's really cool. 1954. Austrian. Two Grochen. <coughs> this also looks aluminum, just judging by the looks. I can't feel the weight through the flip. Very neat. Alright, what do we have here? 1994. 100 Metekais. This is going to take some research for me. There's a crawfish on the back of that one. Yep. Cool. That. that was the first thing that I noticed. Crawdad, crawfish, crayfish, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> that is cool. Outstanding. Ooh, Czechoslovakian. Yeah. 1977. Ten Hallerv. I'm not sure what that is. I think that was the same denomination as one of the ones that you had. Cool. Ooh, an Italian coin. How much pasta will that buy? It's an Italian joke, Junior. 1979 Italian. 200 lire. Lira. Liar. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that. 1979. I wonder what that's made of. It's got like a brass type color. And <coughs> they flip their coins in Italy the same way that we do. That's neat. A lot of countries don't. Okay, let's see what we have next. Ooh, a salmon! Let's flip it over and see if I can tell who... Oh, it's another Irish coin! Cool! So it has the harp... Yeah, we so my wife has gotten me uh, Irish pennies, but this is an Irish two cent piece. No, I found that. Well, good job. She found me pennies. You found this. Excellent. This is nice. Hi, We're excited well, to have that one. And then let's see what else you found, Junior. A Portuguese, nineteen sixty three. Republica de Portugal, 1963. There's a Portuguese sailing vessel on the front. And they flip their coins the same way, too. Excellent. Wow, neat. Beautiful, like, coat of arms or something. Okay, next up, we have a 1980 Juan Carlos. With the King of Spain or something. Yeah, Hispania. Cool. It's a large coin. That's their version of a half dollar. Excellent. Man, these just keep on coming. How many of these did you buy, Junior? Like, <laughs> Okay, so here. Wow, a giant Australian coin. So there's the queen again. We can't get away from the queen. Yeah. She's on half the money across the world. 1976... Wow, look at that kangaroo and like a, yeah. is that an ostrich or like a, <coughs> like an emu? It's like a badge. Cool. That's a big coin and it's not perfectly round either. It's got some straight edges around the edge. That's really neat. All right, last but not least. Oh, Junior, you didn't. You got me a standing Liberty quarter, huh? Cool. That's so great. 1927. I don't see a mint mark. It must be Philadelphia. Wow. That is my first Standing Liberty Quarter, Junior. I know that you have one, but this is my very first. So thank you. It has the stars down below it. They did that on the newer ones. Wow. Beautiful. Thank you. Thanks, Junior. You're welcome. Okay, one last thing, viewers. Um... Junior and I were given this box right here in the middle. 
uh, we bought all of our stuff from the same dealer's table. And so he threw this in. He gave it to my wife. Uh, so Junior doesn't know what it is. I don't know what it is. And it's just going to be a, a, an exciting little surprise. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And then I'm going to hold it up to the camera. And the viewers are going to get to see it before we're going to get to see it. So, I'm going to open the box, take a peek. Okay, do you want to reach in there, Junior? Do the honors, pull it out. What is it? It is a 2009. 2009 Lincoln. what? Lincoln? Yeah. Okay, let's take a look. This is a Lincoln Bicentennial 2009 Denver MS65 Red. That's a great grade. The formative years, this is the one where Lincoln's sitting on the log reading. Wow, that is, it's a beautiful red scent. So what a bonus, what a what a nice thing for that dealer to toss in for, for buying from his table. So anyway, thanks for viewing guys. Click the like button, share, subscribe. So ask, uh, we're, we're, we were just discussing here, let us know whether I won or whether Junior won the $5 gift challenge. Were Junior's gifts to me better, or were my gifts to Junior better? So leave some comments, click like, share, subscribe, and also let us know if you have any more coin show challenge ideas, put them in the comments and maybe we'll give it a try. So we'll see you next time, happy hunting, and see you later.